back in ETV. Hello, Internet. It's John Ray with Balcony TV Austin, and I'm joined today with an award-winning artist, singer-songwriter, and a guy who's got some really interesting ideas on funding your next music project. This is John Pointer. How you doing, John? I'm very well, thanks. Good. Thanks for being here. What song are we going to hear today? This is called Confessional, if the birds let me sing it. All right. Confessional with John Pointer. I'll be back asking him about some of his interesting ideas here in a second. <clears throat> Confess my faults, but I won't take the guilt. I will wipe my hand right through this house of cards you're trying to build. If you really want me to, I will pack my things and go. Cause you don't want me to. Now, you profess your love, but you give me no quarter. You call to say you're coming home. I hear you making tracks across the border. If you really want me to, I will let you slip away Come on, you don't want me to And if the sky splits open The crown might shake There ain't no fear Can make me forsake you I know all your troubles And I tell you, baby, I'll still take you Don't worry Now listen, you can fall in luck, but you climb into love. You dress the earth with holy water, but you work the soil with a pick and shovel. If you really want me to, I will let the fields go dry. Come on, you don't want me to. So let the sky split open, and let the whole earth quake. They ain't no fear it can make me forsake you. And I know your troubles and I'll tell you baby I'll still take you oh, don't worry oh, don't worry yourself so much don't worry We all need someone, somewhere, sometimes To remind us <laughs> What we're here to do, what we're here to do You hear me talking to me. We all need someone, somewhere, sometimes To remind us I'm feeling fragile too But don't you worry Don't worry yourself so much Don't worry Don't worry yourself so much Cause the sky could split open And the ground might shake And I will never forsake you Baby, you got some troubles I got mine too And I will take you hey, hey, Don't worry Yeah. Thank you. All right. <clears throat>
<laughs> All right, this is Balcony TV Austin. We're here with John Pointer. That was awesome, man. Thank you. So I want to jump right into a, a concept that you m mentioned earlier called patriotism. Is that is that correct? Patronism. Patronism. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I talk to a lot of musicians, and one of the biggest uh, things for musicians is that they want to get to the point where they can be a working musician, where they can pay their bills, they can put food on the table, they can afford their rent, and they can just play music. Mm -hmm. And you have an interesting concept that you've kind of started moving forward with. Tell me a little bit about patronism and how it works. Well, so at its base, it boils the, it boils the problem down to this. <clears throat> Instead of the transactional model, which is based on how many t-shirts of mine can you wear, it shifts into the relational model, which is if you like what I'm doing and you want me to keep doing it, you can subscribe to make sure that it happens. So instead of you know, my showing up every month saying, do you need new underwear? <laughs> uh, what I do is I play music and I share it with my patrons who are the ones who are making it happen. And instead of this sort of like, you know, lone champion on a mountaintop, it's actually a community. It's that sort of Ubuntu method methodology where if you want to go fast, you go alone mm -hmm. and starve. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to go far, you go together as a group. And this is that model in action for musicians so that, you know, I have 11 Austin Music Awards and they're hanging on my wall and they look beautiful, but they don't buy groceries. <laughs> so this is how to bridge the gap between that community that wants me to keep doing what I do and my need to eat while I'm doing it. Yeah, because I would imagine uh, as a musician, it, you know, it's important to stay in that zone. And if you have to go every day and work eight hours, that's something that isn't necessarily your passion. You're, you're kind of having to shift in and out of these levels of creative consciousness, which means that your art suffers a little bit. And so basically what patronism, if I understand it correctly, allows you to do is is people can come and say, you know what, I'm, I'm not a musician, but I really appreciate good music. I appreciate good art, and I want to make sure that I live in a world that still has that. Exactly. And so I'm going to donate, you know, whether it's $5 or $20 or $100 every single month so that you can keep creating art that makes me feel, you know, some way that your music make it makes me feel. Is that basically the concept? <clears throat> yeah, it, you know, it started out as a simple subscription to a stream of content, mm -hmm. but then I noticed that very few people were downloading anything, mm -hmm. and uh, when I actually talked to those people who were starting to fund me, and I don't have a huge pile mm -hmm. of funders, um, but they make all the difference in the world, and you know, I have had to pull my house back from the edge of foreclosure mm -hmm. and one single patron stepped forward and helped make that happen kept a roof over my head without knowing that she was doing it I just went out I did this work I produced this concert series at the end she said that's amazing I need more of that in the city here's a thousand dollars just out of gratitude mm. um, and I went home and I needed one thousand and twenty seven dollars to keep my house from going into foreclosure so I sent her a message and let her know how meaningful that was to me which then, of course, was meaningful to her because she wanted to know that she, not just that she was uh, going to make sure that she could get more of those concerts like that because I'm the guy doing it, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's an empowerment platform. It's a bilateral empowerment platform mm -hmm. because what patrons do is they actually buy artists and other creative types the space to create exactly the world that they want to see. Yeah, And so... In many ways, the patrons aren't giving to me, they're giving through me. Mm -hmm. They're giving to the art, and I'm just the guy that happens to be working on it. Yeah. Um, but it's a much more direct model. It's always been that way. Since, since the first proto-human, proto-simian things ever went, watch out, there's something over there! Mm -hmm. and, and our ears picked it up and said, survive, move, quick. Mm -hmm. um, I think it goes that deep, because there is a part of us that's always listening. Even if you can't see something, you can hear it. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that music touches that part of everyone. It soothes the savage beast, et cetera. Like there are all these ways, poetic ways of saying it. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's always been awkward to get to the end of a show and then say, I love playing for you. T-shirts, CDs, and posters, and watches. Would you like one? Yeah. Um, and all that stuff's still important. You know, T-shirts and CDs and 
mementos and artifacts. Like I collect them myself when I when I went to see the police. They're mm -hmm. my favorite band ever. Did I buy a shirt? Absolutely. Did I buy a hat? Absolutely. Did I think about buying a jacket that I would never wear in Texas? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I thought about buying it because every time I put that on, it makes me feel connected to that experience. Yeah. But it's not the music. Mm -hmm. And that shirt and that hat, nobody's ever bought a shirt from me because they walked into my gig shirtless. They bought it because they felt like, wow, I really dig what that guy's doing. And, and I want to remember that. And yeah. I also want to broadcast to the rest of the world who I think I am. Even, even this shirt, Austin Music Foundation. When I wear this, I remind myself that I'm connected to that organization and I believe in what they're doing and I'm just passively letting other people know that I believe not only in this organization, but I think it's a part of me enough to wear it on my chest. Yeah. Um, so what patronism does is it actually allows us to focus on the real underlying issue, which is if you want this work to keep happening, what can you personally do to make sure that happens? And click there is the easy answer. Yeah. Um, then I can give you a t-shirt, no problem. If I can afford to make the t-shirt, I can give it to you. Sure. If I can afford to make the song, I can give it to you. Yeah. Um, so to me, it's just this really nice yin yang, you know, yeah. digital renaissance, ones and zeros. Um, Cause even down to our genes, we're a collaborative species. You can't, you can't reproduce without a partner. So like, I really think it, it's, it's a deep part of who we are as humans. Mm -hmm. And this just finally connects value to not only what musicians sell to people, but what they mean to people. Yeah. I think it's interesting because I think uh, uh, a lot of times people, you know, donate to crowdsource projects because they want to kind of live vicariously mm -hmm. through the project because they know that that project will ultimately inspire them and then they can go on to live a more joyous and uplifting life. So where, where can people find out more about patronism and your music? Well, specifically, of course, it's patronism.com, spelled like patron with an ISM okay. at the end. Um, and I'm just patronism.com slash John Pointer. Okay. And uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be a link somewhere that people can click on, probably down there or maybe over there. Or how about right here if you're really good at the YouTube <laughs> thing? Um, and, uh, and, of course, over the next six months, I'm trying to not only talk about it but show people how it works. Sure. So, for instance, there's a documentary crew here just watching me go through this process so that other artists can see what it looks like to talk about not what I'm selling but what I'm doing. All right. and, and invite those who find it meaningful to join me in continuing to do it. Because that's really all it takes. Sure. It's simple. I think it's a great idea. John, thanks so much for being here. really enjoyed your music. If you want to check out more of John's music or learn more about how patronism.com can help you, check him out online. I'm John Ray with Balcony TV Austin, and thanks so much for watching. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, John. Balcony TV.